Hello folks and welcome back to By Spring. Here we are again straight away doing some harvesting contracts and we're doing corn. Why are we doing these contracts? Funny enough, this corn has got to go to the extended oil plant so it has a sort of byproduct effect from this contract. Will we get corn oil from this? And actually I haven't had a look yet. What is corn oil valued at the moment? So, contracts. No, we want prices. There we go. Go down. I'll have a look at the corn oil. That's canoe oil and all that. Corn oil. There we go. Same sell time in December, November, December. So actually it's November, so the peak price. And in fairness, we could sell soybean oil now if we had it ready. But I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And similar with the corn oil when we start producing that. Speaking of which, we did in between episodes get everything transferred over. So we've got 53,000 litres of soybeans, so 1200 there, so just over 54,000 litres of soybeans we got from those three fields. I'm glad that's actually distributed so we don't have any pallets spawning. I want to just spawn them all at once when they are ready. And also, we have accepted a canola contract. One, f just to see about the straw situation do we get canola straw? And two, Anything left over we get, we will keep and chuck into the production, so... Oh, that was a bit of a dip there, I did not realise. I was like, why well, was not mind doing the end though? But yeah, so we've got contracts on 92 we're doing, and 46. Not huge massive fields, but it's big enough. There is corn on 130. I want to do, but it hasn't popped up yet. Maybe hopefully it comes up afterwards. But yeah, we got also do the mop mowing today. We transferred the bells over from the field that was left. That's one field by 108, so field 107. Just quickly got that transferred over a few bells, feels like 14 bells or so. It's about 75-ish thousand litres of soyage that was. But anyway, so we're going to do a few headlands and actually, we may just do it ourselves rather than get a worker. But yeah, I'm interested to see how much corn we get. And I like, doubt we'll get any money obviously from this, but even if we don't, because it's not a sell point, that corn it's more valuable as corn oil, so because corn oil is it a two to one ratio as well? Yeah, two to one, two to one. I also need that for when we do the canoe harvest. Yeah, I could accept the oh, what's the jig? The equipment and use that, but we got the new Honda here. And actually, the other ones were offering smaller header on this. Well, not on this one, but the smaller header you can get. But six meters is adequate enough for us. We did lease it, so that's about three grand in leasing itself. So overall, the contract value itself, we can get about a grand or two from it as profit. But in hindsight, the profit is really kind of from the oil. Last episode was all about the soybeans and soybean oil being made potentially. Now it's just about oil in general, but it's just a bit of a change of pace for us. You know, maybe we're actually going up and down once we get down here. But yeah, the mowing that's going to take a while to do. We want to. Add to be used as hay. So do we have a tether? I think we do. Yeah we do, we got the Coverdant 85112. 
So yeah, we got 105, 106, 107, 109, 110, and 60, 64, 61, and 62 to do. And then afterwards, we will just cultivate everything. Well, mulch, cultivate, and all that, but that's going to be a lot of work for us to do. I can't get it done in September with just one minute going up, just times one speed, so that'd be an interesting thing to know. I'm not sure if we're going to get it done before nightfall, but even if we do the night shift, it'll be fine, but anyways, we will get this all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards, maybe in the next field, or maybe after that field is done. So I don't think this is going to take too long for us to do. go that is this field done what the header back onto the trailer and then we'll take this over to field 46 but yeah how much did we get from this field we got 20,713 liters and overall I ain't too bad actually I think from a size field like this that's actually very good, so... But anywho... Oh no, it goes to the BGA. Well, we'll cut through here, actually. Cut through the petrol station, and the garage, and the dealership. Because, so, yep, we can get us in, and get his contract completed, and then start producing corn oil. There we go. Uh, I will be all going away. No worries, we'll move that over. But yeah, that over has been definitely worth it. Definitely worth having around. Makes it easier working on difficult terrain. Compared to having the train out, I think, personally. From my experience when we was doing soybeans in that episode. Even with a similar volume of product. Using the auger was a lot better. Again, that may be just be a personal thing, subjective and that, maybe, but... Ah, wait a minute. We didn't get any corn extra for, for ourselves, I thought. Alright, we'll get the corn for ourselves. And where do they... Yeah. The harvest is corn. We've taken it here to the extended oil plant. And it's saying the contract's not completed. Alright. So you're missing 20%. Which... Huh? That 
doesn't make sense. I'm trying to think. 20,000 years. Doing the contracts now. I'll well, say we would have had about 2,000 years left over of corn. Okay, that is bugged. Because now, if this is going to charge us. Yeah, night two, right? Yeah, night two. And yeah, saying, oh, we've got to pay for the missing crops. No, we don't. Alright, okay, that's really. Ugh, tweaked me off. Just freaked me off there. That's 20 grand we've lost there. Plus 2,000 litres of corn. Can we buy corn in that? Big bags. I know be under the pallets. Maze. Because if this other field's going to do the same, then you know what? I want my money back for that. Oh, we'll be under a maze. You know what? We're, we'll buy a pallet. Especially if it happens again on this other field, because that's all right. Mm, yeah. We should be on 13 grand, so what I'll do a sec is I'll get this amended. And then everything will be as good as new. And then we'll resume back here in the other fields. Well, there we go. Fix it, but yeah. At the end, I thought, no, okay, we put 20,000 euros in, that's what we would have had from that contract going in. We would have got any money from the crop, but the farmer was selling their crop to the plant, or giving their crop to the plant, or whatever. And you know, check the going the right way. So yeah, I put 20,000 euros of corn in there. But then by the time I remedied everything, it hit 3 o'clock, because I had to use the government subsidiary mod to get the money back. And then get the money back down to where it was, with the loans and all that. But yeah, that was a total waste of time. And the corn's popped back up, so it's like if we didn't do the contract at all. I'm really hoping this contract here doesn't bug up. Could be a conflict because it's a modded cell point or a modded point like factory now, so maybe. But I swear I've sold two production chains before and got money for it, so who knows? But it looks like we're gonna get such done today. So it looks like it's gonna be just caught up with the corn in that. Oh, I knew. I'll start doing this. Too long. Pretty small field in that, so. And then we got the canoe field on 156, so. I think what I'll do is I'll do the corn here. Get it done. And then we'll go over to 156, but we'll see if this sells first or whatever. Make sure it's a bugs because if I have to do that again, I'm going to be absolutely peed off. That's for sure.
there we go, so we are almost on this field, got a few bits left to do. Got this patch here, and this patch over here, and little struggly bits in between. But yeah, as you may see towards the end of the time lapse, we did get the mulcher over, just because we're simply running out of time, we're running late to get things done, we're losing lights and all that, so I'm really actually you not. Know should have been about half past now. And yeah, we just lost a lot of light here in that transition. He should have kept the times one, not be cheeky and have out point five. But yeah, I doubt we're gonna get the mowing done. We're gonna lose the light very quickly here. It's one of those things is what it is, can't do too much about it. But yeah, between the buggy contract, the rain come in, that just wiped us out. That wiped uh, our schedule of getting two lots of grass cut this year. Unless what we do is we just cut one section, let's say the fields down on the farm, get those cut, and then the ones on the hill cut them tomorrow, but then again they're, they're the more yieldage field, they're the one that gives us more yieldage, so I don't really want to do that, so tough choices ahead of us, unless we go up and get those north fields done, the hilly fields mowed, even if we do bait it, if we just get mowed, then that's fine by me, then we can just worry about the bathing in October, but... Oh uh, yeah, decisions, decisions. Speaking of which... Got more from this compared to the other fields. That's 1.26 hectares. And that is... No idea how much hectare this field is, but because obviously this includes the farm in there, which you can't mow a farm. You can mow around the farm. Does that even make sense? Actually, just hearing that, I do think that makes no sense at all. Anywho, so. Yeah, I'm just hoping this doesn't get bugged out. If it gets bugged out, then oh, that's just gonna really arc me off big time. Oh, hello, worker. Okay, yes, if you thought was doing something wrong there, he was, but no. So yeah, what we did, we just went around in circles. And then we'll carry on up here. Just give the worker enough space to turn around. That's the thing with working on this map, it's, it's a bit difficult to get workers not going because they just take forever to turn around and then when you go up and down the air, yeah, it's all that time loss, it's all a lot of time wasted overall on average. How much corn or whatever product you get per hour. It's down compared to if there's like one big old mega field. That's the thing with the mega field, I really want to do potatoes. But do we relegate that to another field, one smaller field, and do wheat, barley, canola, or whatever? That's the thing, I'm not sure. Speaking of which, we've still got the canola contract to do. May, so I have to message the farmer and say, we can't get it done today, we'll do it first thing in the morning. Because the farmers, we didn't accept it until they run in the afternoon, so... I'm um, still harvest canola in October, so... But yeah, so we'll... I know, work is done, that's good. Actually, 
If I fold you up, I know the worker's going to struggle with this. But I want that to do field work. Go to this field here. Start mulching it. But you know what? We'll just do it ourselves. No, we'll keep you folded. Because, yeah, we've already had that leased out for one month. Because we leased out in August by accident. And now we're going to keep this for another month and incur more cost. Should we be planning ahead on this at the moment? We're just getting a bit frazzled. We need to calm down, relax, you know, just take a deep breath. Not panic. Not strangle someone at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, so be alright. I think I do love the Katrina. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just like the simplicity of it, and as well, you can do 21 miles an hour. That's a big bonus for us. That's a big check hold in my book. Oh, wait a minute, that's collectible there. Did not realise. That's a grand. No, you can't complete your task, you just crashed. Did not realise that was there. But yeah, that's another thing as well, getting money from collectibles. Uh, no, probably, perhaps we won't. If we see them as we go along, we're not. How are you done? There we go, good boy. So you just got to teach you a few times. And eventually you'll catch on. But yeah, as I was saying, got a lot more work to do, so I'll just finish this off quickly and then we'll meet over at the oil plant and see do we get another buggy mess again or is there actually decent cooperation here going on? So let's see, after a bit of a squirrely moment there. Let's see what the chances are. Do we get ripped off again? Well, if we get there in one piece, that may actually help us, but... Yeah, we should have had a front weight on this. Let's see, this load is pretty heavy. But yeah, do we get ripped off again? Or... Is this gonna actually work? Drum roll, please. I just want to see what happens here. I don't expect any money to, money to be going up. Still. Really? Really? Okay, alright. I didn't see saying contract complete. Few, fair enough. And you what? Actually, that 5,000 years ball. Yeah, yeah, the reason we bought that was because the extra crop from this harvest was going to get. Yeah, so. Let's say we would have kept 2,000 years from the last contract. Because we had 2,000 years and about. I think it's like 90 or 90. Was it 85 or 94%? Needs to be transported before we keep whatever's left over. So let's say it's a middle, about 90%. Even though I think his product's more than 94%. Needs to be transported over. So 2,000 plus 2,700 years is just shy of 5,000 years. So in what? The 5,000 years off. Wait. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, alright, I'm confused. Last contract, that got bugged out big time. This time, however, works out fine. Really? 
Oh, you cannot make this up. I really should have been turning up Blade Thing on in the first place. So already we've got 4,000 litres of delicious soybean oil. So now, what I'm going to do is put the harvesting off. We need our most powerful tractor, which is the John Deere. And we need to get some mowing done. Because, yeah, we are losing light fast. And we've got light here. I don't think we're going to have much light around the farm area, especially up north. Yeah, I don't think... And actually, how did the worker do as well? Last thing I want is the worker to mulch the grass in. Ugh. Tamed episode for me so far, and it's already just been absolute hectic, because usually we're like bang, bang, bang doing stuff, but... For once, I'm taking it slow, I'm going to try to sort of just change the pace with some of my Let's Play episodes off. Rather than do everything in a two, three, four minute time lapse, keep things relatively simple to no more than three minutes. So three minutes is going to be my upper limit. Even if we do sort of little interludes in between those two time lapses, so rather than being like a four minute time lapse, we can do two two minute time lapses with five minutes of chat in between. But yeah. I really shouldn't be driving over the grass here, but so what? I think the best way to look at the mulching is go to here and look at mulched. How did the worker do? Surprisingly, not too bad. In fairness, actually not bad. That's something. At the moment, something's better than nothing. And really, we should get that worker on that field there, because that would be an easy field for the worker to do. But we don't have time for that either. We've still got a shiny, not shiny, a shade amount of... Oh, I'm losing it. I swear I'm losing it. I'm actually going bonkers, I am. I don't know why. Recorded the last episode this morning. Got that episode edited and rendered. Edited and rendered court farm. And it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Been up since what? 6 morning? Getting my sleep schedule back on track rather than my stupid late, late sleep patterns. But. It just seems to be, yeah, just a hectic episode. Anywho, we've got this to do. I do like recording Let's Plays at night just because of the lighting. Even with me personally, like, I can see around the tracks and that where the lights are hitting. But where I've, last time I've done it, last several times a while ago actually, in fairness, or recently. Where I recorded at night just seemed a bit off in that. On it, but I don't know. Anywho, I'll try to time lapse this. I will review it, view, uh, review it in editing. And yeah, I'll, I'll still include some clips of us doing this, but I'll use that to make a decision of whether or not we still do time lapses in the future and that at night. But anywho, we need to get the moment done. So we'll start off with doing the easy little field here. Because yeah, I think if we can get at least this done. Do we plant grass? Oh, that's another thing, the mega grass fields. You know what? Actually, let's do that. No, no, no. That's been mulched. Oh, uh, you know what? So yeah, needs... Obviously needs rolling in that. But I'm thinking... Put the grass in here now. Still get that extra cut out of it. We'll cut all of this tonight, so... Just do that, please. Do 
something. So, the Deutsch Forest M series. There we go. And actually, what's the Cedar's horsepower? 270. And, dang it, we're going to need the John Deere, don't we? Oh, why well, don't you have more tractors? That's uh, over 300 horsepower. Not on a gamble. Oh, I'll gamble it. So, 270 9 meters at 9 miles an hour. So, you know what? I'll take this back to the farm with us. So, you know what? Let's take this big push. Let's do a big push. Let's get this all mowed. Or at least the lower fields mowed. Get that field section seeded with grass. And we'll see where we stand afterwards. Does it need lime? Don't think so. Couldn't tell you. Oh, wait a minute. I should know it's pH. No, it doesn't need lime. So, yeah. Get back to the farm. Put our high beam on. But, yeah, so, anyways, as I was saying, get it all done. And I'll see you folks hopefully in the morning. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb well, that was a bit of a hectic work to do overnight, and that is a good reminder of not working in the night, because we have made several mistakes of just little things here and there, as we're just hopping up the cow feet. For one, when we hired a worker, that's the main mistake, it went over some of the grass we already mowed. So the divider was here. We mowed all of this and the worker just started to, yeah, seed over it. Fair enough. Okay. But it got rid of the grass that was there, so we lost a bit of grass. Luckily we caught it. We did like half of it, but still. So yeah, what we got done is obviously got this seeded. Was tempted to do these bits here, but after that mistake, I didn't want to risk going over anything, so we worked until... Let's back up there. Time's one sec. 
stick on there on the side tech panel. But yeah, so we managed to get everything on the south side mode, so got all this mode mode. And as we head over here, we managed to get all this mode up as well, so we're gonna get a decent cut out of this. Okay, fair enough, these grasses has had more time to grow, so we'll get a bit more grass out of it. Since it's had three months to grow, not two. However, the problem stays as the build situation. I don't want to hit the build limit again, so when we do build this in the next episode, we will obviously put... Do we put in here? I think we will. But what I'll do is I put like 195 in there, 190. I may try this about 190 in that and see where we go afterwards. Also, how are greenhouses doing? They're doing alright. Three pounds of strawberries, a pile of tomatoes and lettuce. And these are 500 years each, so yeah, we're going to have some more tomatoes soon and again some more strawberries. That does bring on the situation of. Oh, where is it? There we go. Our oil mills. That is working out really well. We're already at almost at max capacity for both. And we've still got another bunch to go, so. You know what? Let's so that store. And let's go and have a look over here. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, that is nice. Actually, I like, I like the colour of it. So that is soybean oil. And this is corn oil. Lumpy's corn oil. It's got a nice ring to it. We may need to, because how much we're... put a... Bell storage down, bell and pallet storage. Mainly it's just for the pallets, but we're looking at 30 grand there. Do I have. What's that? Oh, that's bell storage. Do need that. I don't have the ones by Umatona. Yeah, no way I'm paying half a mil for that. Don't get me wrong. 2,000 pallets. That ain't bad. Small. Nice small little side there. But yeah, getting distracted, so yeah. We're gonna sell... Was it November, December time it peaks? We look at canoe oil in that. November for that. Let's actually go to the so... Yeah, we've got to wait one more month to get a bit more price. Don't get me wrong, we can sell it now and make a bank of money on it. But we'll push it a bit longer. Now, as we head over here, ugh, sucking the hedgerow, we've accepted the contract for 130, and this is bigger than the other ones we've done, so we've both got the trader and all go back and over paid another daily fee on that which I did want to because I was hoping to do this contract and thankfully it was worth keeping it and paying the decent fee so go back and we'll start doing the harvest yeah, this is going to be a bigger job to do and requires multiple trips. But at least we're close to the oil plant. This is where it needs to go. And if this bugs out, then I'm going to be absolutely annoyed with it. Because that shouldn't be happening. Put the lights on. Just look at that corn. Imagine if it's sideage. Yeah, I'm tempted just to whack out like the more extension, but we need to sort of just tame ourselves back a bit. Just tame ourselves back. 
and just be happy with what we're doing at the moment. We'll be, you know, should be able to get our heading done before we have to empty. I really don't miss those little bits on the sides. I think I'll do it this way of just rotating around, I won't, you know, curve around. Yeah, slightly quicker curving around, but we do risk missing. If I had to guess how much we was going to get, maybe 60,000 litres. So I'm, I'm predicting we'll fill both those up and have a full combine's worth. If I had to guess. That'll be my smut, but who knows? I don't know the yieldage, which I should do, we'll just check here. 63% yield bonus. Imagine if that was 100%. Just imagine. But that's the thing, that's got me thinking. Why not do corn in that? Corn or soybeans? So we could do a soybean and corn harvest. With the straw situation, I'm going to just buy straw now in. Just buy it in. Because we can get, I think like 80,000 years worth for 11 grand or so. Or is that silage? Go to Bells. Where is it to? Is it this one here? No, I don't think it was that one. Ah, there we go, it's these. Where is it? No, actually, the best comparison is to be the silage. Yeah, I think it was these. Yeah, don't know why I got those there. TMR bells. A grand for five and a half thousand litres. I'm not sure that's good value actually, seeing that. Fine enough, you get more for this. Who knew? But yes, these ones here. So for Stroll, we can get yeah, 88,000 litres for 11 grand. In terms of what I would do for the cows, it's actually going to be worth doing. Um, if we look at our animals a sec, because we did just top up the cows TMR. So overall, we're looking at what? I'll say that 88,000 years would last us a month. Let's say that at best, hypothetically speaking. That is 110, let's say 135 grand a year. Just in straw for the cows. That's just bedding. That's not TMR. That's not nothing. TMR situation, we're going through 132,000 litres just with the shed alone. That's like about a full bar's worth a month. We've got a year's worth of TMR on hand, thankfully. Worst case scenario, if it does get a bit struggling for us, we can always just buy, not buy, just use silage. Or even heck it, we can even buy silage. Make silage for ourselves, said it. Buy the cheap bells. That's a profitable situation for us if we just go on silage. But that extra 10%, I think it's worth it. Maybe not as worth it on the financial side of things, but just for the quality of the cow's health, give a bit more of a variety diet and that, more of a nutritious diet. Shall we rephrase that? I think it's worth it. That's the thing for us. Do it for the cows. Oh uh, yeah. I've completely lost it now on that part, but not you know seriously. I think yeah. We're gonna have to evaluate that. But we've just done soybeans, so why not do corn on one two four, one eleven and one oh eight? Because we're going to do potatoes on the mega field. That's just just out of interest on that. May not for the farm aspect of it, but 
I want to do potatoes. So if we do corn on top, just checking the windows, yep, it's pretty nice here. If we do corn up north, north well, I'll the to east, but I'm saying the north, the north side of the river, that's what I refer to. And on 65 and 66, we could do spring barley, or plant it this year. Then again, if we do that, we get barley for the chickens and that, duckies. Barley get more compared to wheat and sorghum. We get shrew. So yeah, I think that's what we do actually. Yeah, that makes sense. The potatoes is an experiment. Maybe expensive with the harvester situation, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I do want to tie up that area over there where it is at the moment. Yeah, we can wiggle a potato harvester in. It's not a propelled one, but realistically, we're going to do some of a tractor setup. But yeah, that's that's where we're standing at, and I'm actually liking that. So to recap, we're doing corn up north, 65 and 66. It's going to be barley, and the soon to be mega field is going to be potatoes. And when we get the worker going, we get the worker going here temporarily. Also. Straight. That ain't strong, but straight. In terms of maybe the sat nav. But why not just go straight down here? Go into the corner if we need to empty. It's on to look at the cost of one the corn header and axe. I want to actually may buy this if we could do this on term. Only what, okay, we'll just leave as it is. So, yeah, corn headers, we're looking at what? 53 grand. Do you even risk going for a 9 meter? Nah, I don't think it's going to be worth it. If we just look at the combines, so that. Yeah, we we'll stick with the 6 meters. But now it's the potatoes. So we're gonna need a horn topper and all that stuff, so to even plant potatoes. That's gonna be expensive. More than four and a half grand. But then again, also we need to lease one of these, so does that have a horn topper? I don't think so. Look at different. That's got slightly bigger capacity, but it requires a hard and topper. And so does that one, I think. Yeah, even though it doesn't say up top. And a topper. Okay, that's reasonable than nah, that, but obviously it's going to be a lot of hours. That's the thing, I'm going to hit that hourly cost and stuff. I think yeah, overall it's optimistic. We're gonna get enough money coming in over the winter. And we just paid a grand on leasing. What was that for the corn? Corn header? Yeah, the corn header. And really we need to buy that bloody bell trader. We'll do that over the winter now. Oh uh, yeah, and we tab over. We do have the John Deere up here to do the mowing and the mulching. But overall we'll do that in the next episode. So hey mates, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. So next time we will finish off the corn harvest here. We'll look at doing some contracts and that. Then we'll head into November. Actually, no, we need to also mulch and mow. That's what we need to do that. Well, we don't need to do it this month now. 
maybe worth doing it anyways to keep or just keep up with next year now so but anyways that's where I'm gonna leave it today as always hope you enjoyed the episode if so smash that button feel free to comment down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed to the channel yet then please consider but for you to do hope you're listening to me former Envoy stream and I'll see you all very soon